Hey, you're listening to 91.1 The Avenue. My name is Anne, and this is The Avenue's Mile of Music coverage. Our Mile of Music coverage is made possible with support from Nicolay Bank and from U.S. Venture. Additional support comes from Dodd Home Safety. Dodd Home Safety performs home safety assessments, provides and installs the recommended equipment, and trains everyone on how to keep loved ones safe and independent in their own home. More information at DodhomeSafety.com. Today, we're thrilled to be with Mile of Music first-time artist, Mia Byrne. Welcome. Hello. It's great to be here. Mia, you uh, come here from New Jersey, did you say? Or I'm originally, New I, I grew up, sort of grew up in New Jersey. I was born in Boston, grew up in New Jersey, lived in New York for most of my life, moved to New, moved to the Bay uh about a decade ago, and I've been bouncing around between the Bay, Nashville, and New York, and just moved to Brooklyn with my partner. There you after. go. <laughs> it's nice to be settled. <laughs> well, we're thrilled to have you in um, Appleton at the Mile. How did you find your way here? Yeah, I've I've heard a lot about Mile of Music. Um, my dear friend Paisley Fields has played here n- numerous times, as has my dear friend Joey Clark, and so when it's actually funny, I just when I just I just sent a cold email. I was like, "Hey, uh, I'm Mia Byrne, and I'm really interested in playing." And they were like, "Oh my God, we'd love to have you, big fan." I'm like, "Oh my God!" Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. I was very excited. Um, I, I'm new. I'm a newcomer to your music. Um, really introduced through you being on the Mile of Music roster this year, and. Um, for those who are unfamiliar, like I was, your music is described as a blend of country, glam, pop, blues, poetic folk, songwriting. Does that feel about right to you? I love that. <laughs> All of that. Yeah. I hear a little Karen Carpenter in your voice Ooh. at times, which, but here's <laughs> here's what nailed it for me. Okay. As I was reading the interview uh, that was done with you uh, for NPR. And um, even though I was listening to your music and I felt like an instant connection, when I was reading that, I figured out why. I am a huge fan of Aaron Lee Tasjan. I love Aaron. And what a dear for, friend. Those, for those friends who know me, this is where you get to roll your eyes because I will talk your head off about how amazing I think Aaron Lee is. And when I read that, I'm like, yes, there are the, the same qualities that I love about his sound and his music apply to you just um genre fluid and um you know good in all the ways and it doesn't sound like anything else it's it's fresh and new and i love it that's a huge compliment and i will take it it's sometimes hard because i think as as you know working in radio so so much of so much of what I love about Freeform FM radio, I, mean, I, grew, I grew up in New York, so it's like I'm listening to Vin Skelsa, I'm listening to Alison Steele and all of these folks. I, I didn't think about genre, and I'm being placed a lot in the Americana box, so I really do love how much I've been being embraced by musicians and, and, and critics and DJs as what you said, genre fluid. I really believe in that. Well, you know... Isn't that what real artistry and music is? is? You know, don't put us in a box. You know? I mean, that to me is what it is. Yeah. And um, you're, you have um, your latest album is Rhinestone Tomboy. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm definitely picking up a vinyl of that from you this weekend. And um, when I listened to it, I thought, you know, this feels very nostalgic. It's like old school country but without, but it's still very modern. Um, it's classic country without the lyrics that haven't aged well or that, you know, are kind of cringy. <laughs> yeah. you know, talk about that, having your new album and, and putting that out. Well, I mean, a lot of these songs, some of them are much older than that I was pulling out of the back pocket, but Aaron produced my record and he picked all the songs and added some ideas of, of which I wanted to be on there, but a lot of them... Yeah, it's exactly that. I wanted to write songs that talked about respect and consensual relationships and internal and external struggles without being like, I. my agenda is staying alive. And if people 
just get out of my music that like you can listen to country and I really want to reclaim our music, American music, you know, the European side of, of Americana, which is really where Amer the, the phrase Americana came out of and and not have such a chauvinistic spin on it. That has a place, uh, for sure. It's very welcome, and the sound is fantastic. Thank it's you. just music that I enjoy on so many levels, and um, just really thrilled to have you here at in our studio and at the festival. Would you give us a song? Sure. That'd be great. Tell us what we're going to hear. This is a song called It Don't Fade. This, is, um, this was both the first um, single and video off of my album, when we released it, when we started the release process in January. And it's a song, again, I, I like to think about the women in my family. And um, I wrote it in the depths of the pandemic and I, uh, lockdown time. And I was stuck in, I was stuck in my home in Berkeley and my whole family and all my friends who were in New York were suffering so much. And I was walking around Berkeley and thinking about all of these people who had survived the, the prior pandemic in 1918. And and thinking about, I mean, like, I read a lot of MFK Fisher, and she talks about right. that period of time a lot, like, for anybody who wants the context of what it was like during the Spanish flu. I'm just walking around on this beautiful day and all of these ironies, and, I'm, and I just wanted to write a song that both reflected the joy that I could pull out of. I just had a conversation with Aaron about if we don't get a chance to do this again, you know, we've lived a good life. And like coming to terms with that and trying to pull not even a silver lining, but just saying, I have, I have me and I have, I have, and I have the example of the women in my family who came through so much to be where they were and to give me the life that I have now. And that's a lot of what this song is about. This is Mia Byrne. <laughs> Thinking about lifelines, thinking about friends of mine, thinking about sunshine beating down, reminiscing on the old days, just into the new ways, thinking about heartaches coming around. I've been thinking about the lion, thinking about dying, redemption. And all its shapes Thinking about my lovers Everything I've discovered When I look to the sky And I pray If you don't want to prove it You better keep it moving There's so much to take On a leap of faith I've been thinking about the sunshine Coming out on the horizon and in bad times, it don't fade. Some will sit in their seclusion, some will say it's an illusion to take what you need to survive some more. But if your heart is in the right place, it don't matter in the first place, because where you come from ain't where you are. But if you don't want to go, Stuck inside the stain, man. It's alright to be scared as long as you ain't afraid. Thinking about the sunshine coming high on the horizon, even in bad times, it don't fade. So cause words failed her In between the stitches She found her star Coming through a window What a funny thing to find though. When you look up And see so far But if you don't want to go there And you feel like giving me all repair Like a rusted gutter In the pouring rain Think about the sunshine 
Even in a bad time Even if you fall behind It don't fail Try to think about the sunshine Even in this bad time Even if you fall behind It don't fail It don't fail 